A Brooklyn woman is speaking out about what she's calling unsafe living conditions inside of her NYCHA apartment. As she says, leaking water is calling, uh, causing mold to grow and her walls and ceiling to crack. News 12 John A. Caldwell has the story. Having to take care of my son and when he wants me to cook him something, I have to tell him, well, I can't cook today because we're, it's leaking or the ceiling might fall. I'm tired. Kaylin Gray is emotional after she says she's been dealing with leaking in her Walt Whitman House's apartment for at least six years. She says the leaking in her kitchen and bathroom is causing her walls and ceilings to deteriorate as well as mold growing throughout her home. I'm scared for my health. We have mold right above our shower, which of course when it leaks, we're getting all that mold and stuff is leaking on me and my son's head. Gray says the water even leaks into her toothbrush holder in the bathroom and she has buckets filled with water throughout her home to catch the leaks. She says when she reaches out to NYCHA to fix the pipe where the water is coming from, they either make temporary fixes or don't come at all. They'll come and instead of fixing it, they'll come, they'll look, they'll take pictures, they'll take videos and they'll leave. They said, we'll come back with answers. They never come back. I'm tired of not being heard. Gray says she was told to open her window to let the moisture out, but she says she can't because the scaffolding outside her window constantly has trash on it, attracting bugs and mice. She's now pleading for help. I'm at my wit's end. There is nothing that's being done. A spokesperson for NYCHA responded saying NYCHA staff are working to trace the leak and gain access to the units on the line. Plumbers will make repairs when the leak is located and assessed. Gray says she's just hoping for something to be done so she can live comfortably in her home again. In Fort Greene, Johnny Caldwell, News 12.